Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, let's check out that forecast this evening. Temperatures dropping through the 50s, 57 at 7 o'clock with still some wind around. Rain at 9 o'clock, 50 at 11 p.m. Very slight chance we might have some thunder, mostly just some rain passing through, but definitely turning cooler over the next few hours as a cold front comes by. Steadier rains, especially uh, moving into the area between about 7 and 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 43 degrees, cloudy skies, chance of showers, and then some more showers during the day. But we won't even get out of the 40s tomorrow. Much cooler. And still breezy tomorrow with those northwest winds. So showers early tonight. Should see a little break in the action as we go past midnight. And then more showers around on Thursday. And then the rain showers developing Friday afternoon with some colder air coming in. Could change over to some snow in the evening. We might even see some small accumulations into Friday evening and Friday night. There might be a little dusting of snow on the ground when you wake up Saturday morning. Forecast wind speeds this evening. Still gusty at 8 o'clock, around 21 miles an hour uh, coming out of the south and southwest. But then you can and see the wind shift with our cold front uh, moving across central Indiana. And as that comes on by, the winds will drop off more in the range of about 10 to 20 miles per hour overnight and uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour during the day tomorrow, too, out of that west and west northwesterly direction. Now, here are some of the peak gusts today 46 here in Dayton, 43 down in Cincinnati around Covington, 38 at Columbus. And you can see the wind speeds Toledo a little lighter, 33 miles an hour, but at least across central Indiana, Kentucky, and southwest. Ohio, those wind speeds gusting in excess of 40 miles per hour today. Brian, heating and cooling camera tonight showing cloudy skies. A few raindrops on the camera lens there, and cloudy conditions up in Greenville tonight on the SVG Chevrolet camera. But look at that sky to the west. It's getting dark. That's because there's some rain moving in from the west. Now, not too much right now on Live Doppler 2 HD in downtown Dayton. One batch of showers off to the east of us uh, in our counties along US 68 and eastward. But here's the more solid area of rain out through central Indiana. That is marching eastward with time. The individual cells heading northeastward, the whole area tracking east. And here comes that cold front, which will swing on by later this evening. So we'll start to dry out a little bit behind the front, but still some lingering showers a possibility tomorrow. We're at 60 degrees, a south wind 15 miles an hour, 49% the relative humidity. And air temperatures around the region right now, upper 50s to the west, where we've seen some of those showers go through. Low 60s reported by our weather checkers to the east. Right now in Jamestown, the low Stetters at 62. Vicki Sifke, New Carlisle, 63. Hope Quilke and Bellbrook, 63 degrees. So there's the rain. Fairly steady at 10 o'clock and turning cooler. Then showery after that, just some uh, on and off showers. Some more of those on and off showers during the day tomorrow. We may see a couple of snowflakes mix into the area tomorrow evening. And then a little break in the action Friday morning before more rain showers develop Friday afternoon. As I mentioned, going into the evening, that could transition. Transition over to some snow showers. Breezy and cool tonight. Rain showers tonight. We'll see those winds back off to 10 to 20. Cloudy and breezy tomorrow. Showers gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Highs reaching the upper 40s. So look for those temperatures in the mid and upper 40s at 2 o'clock, but backing off to 44 at 6 p.m. Storm Team 2 7 day forecast 30 Friday morning with a high of 45. Rain showers changing to snow showers Friday night. Uh, looks like we'll be around 40 for the high on Saturday. And for the Dayton Dragons game, Game. It looks like temperatures will be around 40 for that first pitch. And look for partly cloudy skies and some chilly conditions there. 23 the low on Sunday morning. Another chance of some rain late day Sunday, more likely into Sunday night and Monday. But at least temperatures start to moderate a little more like what you'd expect for April next week. But yeah. until then, below normal.